Fox 5 Surprise Squad is powered by United Nissan, America First Credit Union, Albertsons, and Vons. Well, just days before the holidays, the Fox 5 Surprise Squad received a letter that would put into motion the largest chain of surprises ever. It began when a North Las Vegas mom of three turned to another mom of five in a time of dire need. Tisha Boschman, a bingo cashier, and her husband, also a casino worker, would help this desperate mother in a way that many couldn't even imagine. But for Tisha, it was something her past had prepared her for. This is a story of how two families became one. It began when Audrey, a mother of three, asked her friend Tisha, a mother of five, a question that would change their children's lives forever. Audrey asked Tisha, I have to go into the hospital for some testing. Could my kids spend the night at your house? The test results came back that she had stage two esophageal and stomach cancer. Audrey had asked Tisha to be the legal guardian of her kids. It wasn't much longer than that. Audrey passed away. I bow down to pray I try to make the world seem better. Lord, Something that a lot of people don't know. Tisha was brought up in an orphanage. She was not gonna let these kids go. Her five kids and her husband have now become a family of ten. I can't do nothing for her. They could use the help. Beds some clothes, some food, because I don't know anybody in this whole world that would open her heart up to these kids. Hi, are you Tisha? Hi Tisha, I'm Cassandra Jones with the Fox 5 Surprise Squad. Hi, we received a letter about you from Elizabeth. Is it okay if we come in to talk to you? Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about what's been going on? On the 22nd of November, my um, my neighbor, she actually passed away. She thought for sure she had another year to live. And now I'm trying to become a foster mom so I can become their mom. So I know you didn't know Audrey that well. What made you so compelled to want to help and, and take in these children? Because they're kids. I had to go into the foster home and I don't want them to ever have to deal with anything I had to deal with as a child because children deserve to be children. They've been through too much. They deserve a loving family and a place to call home. To adopt the kids, Tisha needs to create a real bedroom for Caden and Kendall. Well, my son sleeps here and Audrey's son sleeps here. It was the loft so I need a wall to close it off to make it a bedroom. This is where Destiny and Miranda sleep. So they're sharing a bed right now. This is Alicia and Morgan's bedroom. Morgan's actually used to sharing the bed with Alicia because every time she slept over, they did this. They actually look like twins. We're still missing one. Well, you're missing two. Holly, my 17-year-old daughter, sleeps in here. And I know this is kind of a, a big open space. It's almost like she's sleeping in the kitchen. Yes. And so, seven, one more. Chad sleeps on the recliners here in the living room. He's been wanting to try to find a roommate and get an apartment. It just never works out. Um, I'm at work a lot, so I would much rather me sleep on it before any of them sleep on it. I can't lose these kids. I might not have had them in my belly, but I have them in my heart. We definitely want to help. Our friends at Rebuilding Together are here, and they're going to be putting up that wall for you. So much. That is my big goal is just to make sure that we are a family of 10 forever. All right, Tish, we've got our crew here. We're ready to get your wall up. Uh, Stations Casinos has you all taken care of for the rest of the week, and we'll see you in a few days. I thank you guys so much. You guys are definitely a Christmas miracle. So we told this mom that we're just putting up a wall, but in true Surprise Squad fashion, we're doing so much more. We're going to be moving every piece of furniture out of this home so you guys can come in and redo the carpets and paint. Because of our community partners like Ryder Construction and the City of North Las Vegas, we're able to come in here and do about six weeks of work in about three or four days. We're painting the entire inside of replacing closet doors that have been broken, cleaning up the landscaping, we replaced all the carpet upstairs. We're doing everything we can to make this house a home. And thanks to our community, a truck full of furniture. Through very generous friends, we were able to raise the money for the furniture. It's important to give back and to show our kids the meaning of what the holidays are about. Amazing the number of hands that have come together to help the family get into this house. This is one of the biggest projects the Surprise Squad has done yet and we came out in full force.
It's really important that this family has a nice home for Christmas and then obviously gifts under the tree. Right around the holidays, of course, is when you really miss your mom. Hopefully when they walk in that door, they'll all be able to smile. And anything we can do to make their lives a little bit easier, we're more than happy to do. I can't wait to see the reveal tomorrow in your faces when they see what we've done. We're on our way to pick up the family right now and they have no idea what's coming. Welcome home, family. Thank you. We wanted you to know you're not on this journey alone. There's a lot of people. There are a lot of people here. And you know what? You thought we were just going to put up a wall, but we're the surprise squad, and we knew we had to do a whole lot more. Do you want to go see your new home? I never thunk in a million years my home could look like this. Okay, you guys want to see your rooms? Yeah. yeah. I can't see it. I know, because guess what? You have a wall now. This wasn't here before. Go ahead, boys. Oh my god! <laughs> what do you guys think? I love it. <laughs> it's the best. Thank you. Miranda and Destiny. <laughs> and now you each got your own bed. Like you a lot. <laughs> Alicia and Morgan. This is them. How did you guys do that? Holly's <laughs> next. <gasps> this is your own <laughs> What do you think? It's amazing. I wasn't expecting something like this. Chad, this is where you've been sleeping. We couldn't create a space for you, but we hope that we can help with something that you've been wanting. This is $1,500 to go towards getting your very own apartment. That's amazing, wow. It's been a transformation. We also want to make sure the house is full of food, so we're providing a year's worth of groceries thanks to our partners, Albertsons and Vons. Oh my God! It's usually hard to figure out how we're gonna get food and we always do it, but we're not gonna have to stress about that. That's amazing. It's just really overwhelming that somebody would do this for me and for my family. I didn't do anything too special. I did what anybody in my shoes would have done. We have Don Foreman from United Nissan and his family. Our family at United Nissan heard there was one more thing that your new family of 10 needed. No way. Oh my god. It fits 12. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh my god. These kind of things don't really happen. I want to just keep our family of 10 the way that we've always been. We're happy. I, I love all eight of them. And, and as long as they're happy, I'm happy. Wow. Ooh. Jonesy, how did you handle that situation? That was so emotional. I cried the whole time. Yeah. And, you know, of course, we have the magic of editing and everything, but you see these kids' faces, and it yeah. just... Yeah. I know. That's the, know. That's that's the it real... It breaks your heart, but then to know that they're so happy and we yeah. were able to bring them that joy, it was incredible at the end of the day to see them smiling and crying tears of joy instead yeah. of tears of sadness. So to be able to bring that to that family was incredible. And you know what? The parents looked relatively young because the kids, mm -hmm. their mom died. And so those two were friends. And mm -hmm. she just asked the, the mom, that mom, one day, can you just watch them? I got to go to the doctor. She comes back with the diagnosis mm -hmm. of cancer. And in two weeks, it went from stage two to stage four. Wow. And oh then she God. passed just like that. And they weren't all that close. Mm -mm. Uh, right? You, that's what you were saying? The two girls were friends, so the okay. two older girls were close friends. Uh -huh. And so that's how they kind of came into the story together. Yeah. And so Audrey asked Tisha, would you mind watching my children for me while I go into the hospital and do some testing? Mm -hmm. And it led to all of this. And after this, you know, I look at Tisha and I'm like, I want to be more like her. We need more people like her in this world. It's like you think you're a good mom and then you look at somebody like wow. her and you're just floored. Yeah. I, I am, uh, I, I'm glad you did that one. I would not have been able to complete this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that it, was, wow. it was a tough one, but it was yeah. amazing. Thanks, guys. Well, Very Tisha, good. Tisha and Kevin uh, are, are still in shock that the community came together the way they did. And she still says she did what any mother would have done mm -hmm. in her position, as Jonesy was saying, yeah. of course. And folks, on behalf of the Bouchmans, did I say that right, Jonesy? 
Lindsay, uh -huh. yes. the Vouchmans, and Fox 5. We would like to thank our partners in the community who helped turn the holidays around for all these kids. Yeah, we wish them the very best. And we'll be right back.